We're installing the front sight on a 1903 A3 Springfield. The sight base has two different diameter size holes. The one that goes through the key is 90 thousandth and the one that goes through the blade is 60 thousandths. These blades have sizes A through E and the taller the front sight, the lower the impact of your shots. And the A sight is 0.537 of an inch, and E is 0.477. So you can get, you can mix and match, and each different sight is in an increment of two minutes of angle. Interestingly enough, the 03A3 with a 24 inch barrel, each 8 thousandth of an inch gives you a one minute of angle at 100 yards. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to install the key. And just want to show you when, you when you disassemble that part of it, make sure that you mark the side to the shooter because the key is not symmetric. If you put it in 180 degrees off, the hole is not going to intersect with the key correctly. So we've got this marked to the rear. I'm going to install that in there. Sorry for my fingers being in the view. Clean this off with some emery cloth. I've installed some uh, colonite insulator wax on here. And that's just going to aid in things fitting together tight, but not impossible to assemble. The round side of the site goes towards the shooter. We take the punch and get it lined up. So now we're going to be putting the pins in from right to left, and you'll notice. Just done a little filing just to take the edges off of the hammer marks that have occurred over the last 70 years. And you can use the magnet to kind of get it started. What we're going to do is we're just going to tap that in a little bit. We're going to finish that up with a little bit larger punch. Fit on these are, are pretty pretty good with the uh, the shape of the base. And you can use a little drift of whatever you have on hand. Get that lined up. our trusty magnet and you'll notice with this as well we've we've chamfered that edge so hopefully it starts a little easier magnet with the small of a hole might give us a little bit of a problem so pardon my hand in the view started. And now I'm going to get a little bit larger punch, some brass punch. And for now that's going to be pretty good. 
I can finish this up after we do a verification at the range. And we want to top all that off with a uh, sight protector. And one of the things that occurs with using that taller front sight is you'll notice that your sight picture the blade is going to be about three quarters of the way up so you might find that you get better results uh, shooting targets without the protector on there because uh, you don't really have a circle within a circle the blade is actually sitting up a little too high inside of the sight protector but that's just something to think about